Hello again, overpowered air raiders. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the APC in this game. Uh, in previous games, the APC wasn't too good of a, of a vehicle, mainly because it controlled like it weighed like three ounces, and the turret didn't really turn around at all. It just had like a 30 degree cone in front of it. But now that it actually controls like an actual weighted vehicle, and the turret will actually spin around, not all the completely, but just about on both sides. I think it's actually a decent vehicle now. I've really been enjoying it. It seemed like they gave it a little bit more health perhaps as well, but uh, I really find this thing a lot more useful now. So I'm really excited about that because I really like this vehicle. Because in the past games, it actually had decent damage because it actually did 100,000 100, damage, or not 800,000 damage rather on the highest one. Which was a lot of damage. It just, you know, had a lot of shots. So you had to, you had. It took a while to shoot those 800, 800,000 damage. But uh, I really like this vehicle now, and I'm hoping that it's going to be something that's viable in this next game here. But as as in the past, you have ones that shoot mortars, and you have ones that shoot, uh, um, like almost like uh, railgun shell shells, uh, machine gun fire. So. It's kind of a cool vehicle now that you actually can use it. So, just wanted to show it off a little bit. Uh, the damage uh, seemed decently w decent for the ones I've had so far on uh, hard difficulty. But, uh, also it aims high enough to actually, you can actually aim it high enough to hit ships now too, drop ships, so that's nice. So it can be actual, you know, a competitor maybe of the tanks because it moves faster. And it also lets you, uh, like I said, attack enemies that are that are charging you. So that's so that's kind of useful. But it seems like all the vehicles in this game have now been changed to where they they are, they they aren't so floaty in their in their controls. They actually are. Uh, the aiming's a lot a lot more. Uh, a lot more, a lot slower and a lot more fine-tuned, so it's easier to use, so that's kind of cool. These bumps aren't doing me much favor right now, but... But yeah, I think this is a good vehicle now, and uh, pretty excited to, to use it some more in the game, so... Just want to make a short video about this, because I'm really happy about it. As far as why, why they have the ability to put three people in the back, I'm not sure why, because honestly... I'm not sure why you would want to transport people in this thing or when you would ever need to do that. It also is good for picking up items too, as you can see the circle around it is a decent size, so this can be be pretty useful for picking up items too. The only negative is, you know, you'd, with the vehicles with the circle now, is it, you may pick up some health items you don't want to, but, you know, you can't have everything. <laughs> I, I think I like the other one better, the one that isn't the mortar, but the actual, it's almost like a rail shot. It's automatic rail shot, but uh, I've always liked those a little bit better, but these can be good, I guess, for packs of enemies if you want to hit more than one enemy. But uh, also, the vehicles can't really flip over now. Um, it's like the, they will automatically flip back to the normal side when they uh, when they flip over, so that's a cool, it's a cool change they made as well. Let me see if I actually can flip this thing, it might be a little tough. The only time I've had it happen was when I dropped it wrong, and when I, I think I may have actually, yeah, f tried to flip it before, and yeah, it doesn't really seem to flip. I've actually had it where it was completely upside down, and it, and it automatically turned itself back over, so, yeah, kind of like that, yeah, it just, it will not stay on its, on its own, so that's cool, that's a really cool thing that they made, so your vehicles won't uh, get ruined by an accident, so, that's cool. But yeah, I'm loving this game, and I, I continue to plan on making more videos of uh, of the new things and just you know strategy and tips, of course, in the future. But I want to make sure that I actually know what I'm talking about before I start making videos. So it's going to be a little bit of time, because I mean, the, the good news is this game feels a lot different than uh, the previous game. So I feel like I have to learn, you know, what's good and what's not now, which is which is fun. I'm, I'm grateful for that. It's really really going to be exciting to do that. But uh, but yeah, I just figured I'd come to you with this video, and uh, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.